are your favourite memories from The Empire Strikes Back? Well, I suppose, the, I, I don't really have an hour. It's such a short time, you know, we all were, uh, us, us underlings. Um, and I got a good crack of the whip. Um, I suppose my best bit was my, that conversation I had with Darth Vader, which, um, you know, d he showed he had a bit of guts in that and um, wasn't an absolute toady. And the way he speaks to Darth Vader when he's actually doing his fighting is, uh, is quite tough. It wasn't much fun to do. It, it, was, it was sort of rather routine being in a, a funny sort of super galactic series. We had no idea what it would... It was the second, and so the first one had been successful, but we had no idea it was going to be what it is now. Um, it wouldn't have made it even any more entertaining to do if we had known. But I mean, everyone was very nice to us, but no complaints, but it was very routine... Uh, ordinary work, N nothing exciting about it at all. Uh, I, I mean, for instance, uh, I had a scene when I was doing the fighting up in my attack, and, I'm, and um, I wasn't in one of those. I was in a on a gantry, on a top of a sort of lift thing, and there was a mock-up of a control panel in front of me, a blue screen behind me. And, I hadn't, and they just jiggled that about a bit, and, uh, and I had no idea. And I didn't know what I was actually fighting with until I saw the film. I didn't know it was that extraordinary me mechanical giraffe. I had no idea, and uh, it was it was rather like that. Um, but everyone, it, w it was nice because the actors, uh, and, I, and I've kept up with quite a lot of the actors, like Ken Colley and people, and and. Uh, Jeremy Bullock, and so that's been good. And uh, I've made much more money out of these conventions than I did out of making Star Wars. Uh, I was paid 200 pounds for Star Wars. Yeah, and um, we all were. We had four days, five days on it, something like that. And we in and out we went and never, didn't think about it again until suddenly, whoa, hello. <laughs> now, of course, it's such a huge franchise that has been for years as well. I mean, what do you think about it coming back? Well, um, good luck to it. I, I think it's lost its original zest. It's now very, very clever. It's brilliantly done. I can't deny that. The special effects are simply remarkable. Um, but it's lost its original zest because it's lost its, its soul. And... Um, it has to have lost its soul, because we all now know about the Force and those things which made Alec Guinness do it, and uh, those, those things which are under the surface, but which actually drives the human being. I mean, that sets it on a very high level, but it, that's why initially it was so successful. Very wise people look at, who look very funny and, and like toads and things, and, and, and animals sort of animal creatures who have great intelligence and can move and do things that we can't and that that was originally very good and then very and I think the first four were really good and now they're as I say they're very well done but they're not the same thing I noticed that your son had done the voice of Veers in some Star Wars video games do you think he'd like to be involved in the new Star Wars coming back? Uh, my son does me, as you know, in the video games. And as you say, um, I'd like to come back in the new Star Wars as somebody else. Or like De v or, or like Veers, having grown up a bit. And uh, an old, old Veers. And that, that'd be good.